You know how like your grandma tends to use like the, her little Nokia from like 1985 because like that's the same thing that's been working for her for the last 30 years, even though objectively that shit ain't, ain't no good no more. That's basically what happened in this draft. Okay, we got Pain Gaming versus Viking Esports, and this is a case where two teams are just very aware of their own styles. Like I mentioned before, Vietnam, you know, they're they do not give a fuck. They just draft how they want, and they just draft based on what they think is good. It's just and just like my grandma, they got punished when they uh, <laughs> tried to enter society. In this case, World's Twenty Twenty Four against Pain, and, and and you know, Pain is not necessarily a perfect team when it comes to draft. They've got their own little quirks and features as well. Let's put it that way. But uh, in the case of this draft, you can kind of see the. Uh, stubbornness of Vietnam kind of punished them a little bit, let's say. Uh, they were very, their read on the meta was very, let's say, rigid. And you can kind of see the weaknesses of that. And and they go for specific things, like they, they, they're cosplaying Levi a little bit. You know, they they like, yeah, we're cool. We can pick this here too. We're strong side jungle, you know, Xin Chao Am. Like, but like, nah, 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 nah. You know, it, it ain't the same. So first, first thing to note in the bands here, you see one Zyra ban, Othu against Karyok. Uh, they got some very unique play styles here. Both of these mid laners are kind of psychopaths because of the previous meta. So they don't really have much uh, control mage on record. So Pain's like, let's just delete both of them, right? Usually in the meta with control mages, there's usually at, least, at most two or three, and usually two. And then uh, what have I, what's, what's very common is that they get handshaken. And Pain decide to delete both hands and so that they increase volatility in the mid lane and therefore it drafts accordingly to their style if that makes sense they also ban the jacks which is like opens the gates for a more fair top side so pain's probably gonna have the blind top side but like they are hedging against the idea of having a really bad scenario you know they want wiser to be unlocked just a little bit so Skarner B1, you can see here, brand opener. I think I think these SCA teams really like the full clear jungler still. They uh they they love that stuff, right? They but but I think most other teams are trying to really go for the aggressive angle. I would say Skarner is the exception because he has so many options in what he can do. He's kind of a chill guy. And this is the first Callista I think I've seen all all year in world so far. And I actually think it's not bad. And it, it's doable if the team can pilot it, right? It's one of those champions. And it, it, definitely in an environment where where every team is banning Ash, it actually is her worst matchup. So it actually makes a little bit of sense. And they'd go for the Nico soft flex here. Because when you go Callista Nico, it's actually a very good uh, sort of like, uh, it's like Walmart Callista Renata, if, if I were to phrase it that way. You know, you, she has really good uh, backwards capability. Vikings, they just go for like a good old solid, yeah, let's deal a lot of damage type comp. So, uh, nothing too bad right now. A lot of the normal priority picks that other teams are going for have slipped through though. So, look at the second phase bans, right? Aurora. Normally, teams are be wanting that. Uh, Cassante, it's, it almost always goes through in the first phase. No Ziggs as well, I think. It's completely slipped through the draft as well. It just shows that these teams just have a certain way they like to play. And it kind of reveals it here. We've got the God Deer on the fourth pick. And just a lot of really... Um, you can see a lot of really stylistic champion choices, right? It just... This looks very last patch, if I'm going to be honest with you. Right? We see we still see a lot of uh, Tristana. We see a lot of uh, AD carries in the mid lane. A lot of slower stuff. And I, I think it's like actually on Vikings because there's a lot of champions that are just not that good on the patch anymore if you think about it, right? Brand got nerfed, MF got nerfed, Smolder got nerfed, Leona got nerfed, right? They're, these champs are all way weaker than they used to be when they were prominent in the meta like a couple months ago. So on paper it looks okay, but it actually gets punished because... Pain, they have arguably up to three winning lanes, and this brand's not going to be able to breathe that well, right? You know, MF Leona, it's like, it's all right, but the Tristana, putting a lot of pressure, it can really invade this brand a lot. Um, same with the Rumble, like, it's really hard. It's a very greedy draft from Vikings to start, and I think they really get punished here. Kind of see it again with Vikings in their play style of what they like, and Pain are catching on, right? So they give the Ashby one. That's cool. 
they banned Ziggs this time because I believe they, even though they slipped through the first time, they probably their draft plan this time was a little bit scared of it. So they let the Ash through. It's a Joni Jax, very strong combo against whatever Nan 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 Nanawe. I don't know how to pronounce that. Nanawe is, is willing to cook up. And the main thing from this draft, I believe, is... The surprising part where Vikings end up going for a little bit weirder of a Shivana angle than what you would see uh, from something like Levi. So, for example, when Levi does it on Gam, it's a very specific timer where they know it's a slow comp and the enemy comp has no agency in order to answer and confirm. On paper, this Viking comp makes sense. Like, stylistically, it's cohesive. Be Sure, Shivana is potentially solo AP. It's not that bad though, you know. There, and then and then Levi picked it into a comp that was only poke. Payne's comp is not only poke. It is a full-on engage comp, right? They're trying to play backwards with a shiv and play slow. Payne Gaming is such a fast team, and they 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 have so much pressure everywhere. They got a bard. Like this is the same issue. Like they, they're just gonna get invaded again. Um, yeah, they have some pressure with the Triss. Like they're forcing it, but it's this is not too allowed i would say the game pace is too fast in an environment like worlds you're not going to get away with that thing so i think vikings a little firm on their play style and i think they really do deserve to lose in in, in sort of this it's very greedy drafting i think uh pain it's not like exceptional drafting but they are catching on to what vikings are putting down and that's why they came out on top here so i think slowly but surely we're going to get confirms that this style of play has a time and place but it's very gentle you need the right information to be revealed so that you know let's say the coast is clear so that you can actually do it is the way i'd put it so yeah uh hopefully this makes sense to you guys uh this is an interesting draft and i hope you see some more bangers so see you in the next one